no one likes to UV unwrap their models manually after they finish modeling, at least not after they have spent hundreds of hours doing it over and over again. Zen UV is a Blender add-on developed by Sergei Tyapkin, who is a talented artist that works in game development. They work daily on assets and game environments, and they came up with Zen UV to simplify the process of creating and manipulating UVs in Blender. Similar to its contemporaries like UV Pack Master, Zen UV gives you access to a whole assortment of tools and functionalities. These tools usually can be found in Blender by default, but it will definitely make your life easier when dealing with UVs in your daily work. So what are Zen UV's main features? We have a smart Zen to unwrap and pack your UVs with one click. You also have an automatic marking system that allows you to mark seams and sharp edges automatically based on different parameters. A finish system to color code which UV islands or part of your mesh is finished or unfinished. This way, you can keep track of which part of the model needs unwrapping. You also can expand the UV transform tools with easy to access actions such as move, rotate, scale, flip, fit, orient, and so on. In addition to that, there is a powerful stack system that allows you to stack and unstack UV islands automatically or manually. This will allow you to stack similar islands together to increase the textile density which is very effective. Also you can copy and paste parameters between UV islands such as structure, textile density, position and size. One of the interesting features is Quadrify Islands Operator which will help you straighten rectangular shaped UV islands. You also have seam groups to keep track of your seams and group them together, in addition to the ability of applying different checker maps to your model, or you can set up your own custom textures. And finally, you have Hard Ops add-on integration that allows displaying UV manipulations in the 3D view. So how to use the Zen UV add-on? Well, Zen UV is divided into sections. You have different panels that have different tools and functionalities, such as unwrap, select, pack, transform, stack, and so on. You can use the add-on in the edit mode or the object mode, but to get access to all the tools, you probably want to be in the edit mode. Advanced UV Map section gives you the ability to quickly access your object data properties in addition to the ability to select, add, remove, or rename UV maps from the list. Another super helpful thing is, if more than one object is selected, you can work on both UVs at the same time without joining the objects together. The seam group function works very similarly to vertex group, in which it will allow you to assign your seams to a group that you can save for later usage. To add a new seam group to the list, just click the plus sign, mark your seams and click assign. You can activate the seam group at any time by hitting the activate button. To delete the group, choose the minus sign. But one shortcoming of this tool is that there is no deactivate or clear button. So to deactivate any seam group, you will have to select and clear them manually. This tool could have been much more helpful with a clear button, but hopefully in future updates, there will be one. The unwrap section will allow you to mark and unwrap all selected edges or faces. If you click Zen Unwrap at the top while selecting edges or faces, they will be marked as seams and unwrapped. You can actually mark your seams and edges by angles, and you can choose to mark only seams or only sharp edges as well. Click the cog icon next to the buttons to see more options. And to make the unwrapping process even easier, there is a plethora of marking nodes. For example, you can mark your seams by UV borders, shape edges, open edges, or you can even mirror seams by axes. You also have a really helpful function, which is to isolate the finished and wrapped object from the unfinished ones by giving the finished UV a different color. The color is green by default, but you can change it to whatever color you want. You can toggle the visibility of the color in the viewport on and off by clicking the display finished at the button. Once you tag a UV map as finished, it will be moved one unit to the right, and the corresponding geometry will take the green color as opposed to the unfinished UV that is red and will be moved to the unit to the left. Also, we have Quadrify Islands, which is one of the best features of Zen UV because it allows you to straighten all the rectangular shaped UVs. I remember spending so much time doing that manually. This is a very helpful solution as it does everything automatically for you. Just choose an island you wish to straighten and click Quadrify. Zen UV offers a lot of selection functions that you can find in Blender by default. For example, you can select only edges that are marked as seams or sharp edges. 
you can select a similar island, flipped island, or automatically highlight only overlapped islands, which can be used in conjunction with isolate island. And this will hide everything but the selected islands. You can also pack all the UV unwrapped islands and you can choose the margins and click pack. A great implementation in Zen UV is the ability to switch your UV pack engine to UV pack master 2 instead of the default blender pack. This is very helpful because the UV pack master algorithm is much more accurate. The transform section hugely expands the transform tools for UV islands with the universal control panel. This allows you to manipulate islands in so many ways. You can choose between different types of transformation such as move, scale, rotate, mirror, fill and align. And all of them are very precise and easy to use. You can easily pick how much you want to scale or how much you want to move the island and click the direction arrow on the control panel to execute the action. The stack function allows you to automatically stack similar UV islands on top of each other to preserve texture space and increase texture density. You can choose the stack mode between global or only selected. The latter will only stack selected islands and you can also choose the island type. And you can copy and paste any UV island parameters from one to another easily by using the copy and paste button. And keep in mind that the stack function won't work if you haven't installed the core library before. There are actually a lot of Zen UV features that we didn't include in this video. Features such as textile density and checker maps. But we urge you to visit the add-ons page to see the full extent of what Zen UV can offer. So Zen UV is not a perfect add-on like any other one. You're gonna have to use what works for you and leave what doesn't. But overall I think it is a fantastic tool and you should check it out. If you are interested you can find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add you can leave it in the comment section below. Also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.